Welcome, welcome YouTubers. We're about to tie a, a bonefish permit fly. I'm going to use these cute little aquafly uh, shrimp eyes. So I'm going to get, uh, this is a size 6. Uh, it's a TMC hook. It's a saltwater hook. It's probably an 811S, but it could be an 800. Um, I go, you know, one's got a longer shank. One's got a, this is one with a shorter shank. And uh, I'm going to use uh, this cute little stealth bead. This is uh, Chacon's Stealth Bead Chain. And one of the tricks here is not going too... You know, I can tie my bead chain in closer to the eye if I'm going to tie a clouser. But when I'm tying these guys, I, I have to set them back just a little bit further so I can get all my materials on. And I'm, I'm kind of handicapped here. I'm using a, a 6 aught Danville thread. I should ideally be using a thicker thread. But, you know, sometimes you just reach for something and you're shooting a video. And this is a good example of how you can get by. I'd probably use a... Oh, i just use a heavier thread. So, this is going to be... Um, first thing we're going to do here, this is going to be a shrimp shrimp-ish fly. This is a fly that's going to make the bonefish or the permit think they're about to have a tasty little shrimp treat. And so, I've got a piece of Aussie possum here. Aussie possum. And it's natural. And the, the, the tough part is about buying Aussie possum is that each piece is a little bit different. And so they, they can all be natural, but they are going to look a little bit different lengths and different shades. So you could use, uh, I'm going to trim this off and get myself some uh, needle nose pliers. And what I'm going to do here, I'm going to pinch this mono to flatten it before I tie it in. I'm also going to put kind of a bend in it. There we go. So, uh, you could use other kinds of furs. You could Nothing magic about this. Uh, you just want something that's kind of buggy and fuzzy to um, to be looking uh, translucent-ish. By the way, these aquafy eyes come in different colors. These are kind of a purplish. Um, you could use all kinds of things. And the main thing is I don't want my eyes to be you know, way, way, way. I don't want to be out here. Uh, I think this is about right. You might make them even shorter. I don't think I'd make them longer. Now, for the uh, the body, I am uh, going to use a rainbow scud dub. This, this uh, little shrimp critter here is... Uh, you know, of course, we're fishing on the flats. And this fly is intended to be fished under circumstances where the fish are... Uh, they are more likely to respond to a subtle, subtle, a uh, not, not too bright fly. Something that's... Um, Kind of, uh, kind of what? Kind of blends in with the background. Uh, kind of translucent-ish. And this rainbow scud. I've actually uh, so I get the rainbow scud dub, and it's actually a little bit coarser than I like. 
So I cut it up and I put it in my copy grinder and grind it up. So the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to put on a little bit of rubber leg. We're going to put on some, uh, we're going to turn it over and we're going to put on a little bit of Chacon's Crusher legs. This is, I think this is a shrimp pink. Do one on each side. So I'm wrapping that on and it goes forward and then I wrap over it. I coming back. There we go. Nice and secure. And kind of point it up in a V. Trim that off. And now for the wing. I could I could use calf tail there. Um, but I'm going to use, uh, this is, oh, I've got some right out here on my desk. This is Sculpting Flash Fiber. And uh, it's, it's uh, uh, you know, my friend Enrico um, makes a material that's, that's you know, there, there are different sources of these materials, and um, it's hard to find materials that aren't nice these days. But this is basically a, an EP fiber with just a little bit of flash in it, and it's, uh, it's brown. Uh, I think this is, the color is bronze back. Um, and it has a little, it's not quite as coarse or as stiff as a, a calf tail would be. Um, so I got that right on there. And then I'm just going to get a little pinch of my crusty nail. Senyo Fusion Dub. And we're going to put it right there. Not too much. Don't want too much. And this is, as I was mentioning before, you don't want to have your eyes too close. The, the, the bead chain too close to the eye of the hook because then you can't really lash this material on. And so what this, uh, what the Fusion Dub is just, it gives you a little bit of a two-tone effect in your wing. And just the hint of flash there. Do a couple of whip finishes. And we're done.